My name is Roger Salway. I'm the director and founder of Oyster Worldwide, and I've spent the last 15 years sending young people away to different countries around the world. What does Oyster offer? We offer two types of work, mostly voluntary work. So that could be going and teaching in a school in Africa, it could be going to learn Spanish in Chile and then teaching in a school in Chile. Uh, there are 10 countries that we operate in. And we also have a, a paid work side. So for those who are very keen to take on a real job, earn some money in another country. The benefits of coming with Oyster, I would say, are firstly, you get very good preparation and support. Uh, we make sure we interview everybody that goes away. Uh, we brief them carefully before they decide on, on their country and their project. And then before they leave the UK, they come back to us for a pre-departure briefing where we talk through safety issues, cultural issues. One of the things you gain on a gap year is life skills. And if you think about someone living in another country, managing their own budget, washing, learning a language and doing another job, you get a huge uh, amount of independence from that. Your confidence is, is at a very high level when you've experience that and I would say people going on to university are far more likely to to succeed. Oyster Worldwide is an organisation dedicated to placements that are really beneficial not only to the participant but to the projects, employers and hosts of the countries they will be living in. When looking for new projects we always ensure that there is a need for participants particularly when dealing with our volunteer placements. It is important that there is a role for participants to do where they can help communities in a positive way. My name's John Arnold and uh, I'm Destination Manager here at Oyster Worldwide. Um, I first got into gap years in 2004 when I took a gap year myself uh, to Tanzania. I was a volunteer teacher out there for five months. I think what I got out of the whole experience as a whole, um, people do gap years for a whole range of reasons and, and uh, we, we cover these in school talks that we go around to do. Um, but for me, I think the three big things was independence. Um, it was my first time away from home, first time outside of Europe, first long haul flight actually, so it was a really big step for me. Um, became very independent. Um, gave me confidence as well, certainly uh, confidence to go off to university. Um, when I was at college, I wasn't too sure about whether university would be right for me. Um, so taking a gap here really, uh, really helped me um, sort that out. My name's Leah and I went to Nepal. Basically, I was a teacher out there, I was volunteering. Uh, so I and I stayed also with a family so I would probably get up pretty early because they tended to get up around seven o'clock which we found quite difficult at first and then um, yeah and then obviously I'd start school about nine do about three lessons um, converse with all the teachers uh, well teaching children from about 11 to 15 generally I've uh, learned independence it also teaches you how to like manage money which obviously you get at university as well because you're not going to have a lot of money at any one point but you know how to budget yourself you know the value and also you know the value of life as well because I was working in a developing country and it sort of makes you appreciate your own life as well. My name is Emma and I'm working for Oyster and I send people away on our paid work placements to Australia. I was uh, working as a homeschool tutor uh, on an outback uh, in the outback um, on a cattle station uh, and uh, I would be teaching um, two boys aged 8 and 10 and uh, it, it also gives you a, a, bit, a bit more perspective about the world so you can see more than just um, what English people are like and what England's like, you go to other countries and it's completely different.